Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Hearts of Iron 4 The Great War with me Alpha Pi Omega and Austria Hungary. So we are slowly crawling up and up and up, uh, finally recruiting some units. Uh, we, I think, recruited three or four divisions already to Gebirgsjäger and um, two divisions for our first army. Now we're recruiting yet another one that's going to join them. And we are still monitoring our ability to turn all of these Landsturmbrigaden into full-blown Landwehr division, which could then be basically turned into 4th Army. So we'll see if that's uh, gonna happen soon. We are also well on our way to finishing all of the upgrades to our uh, destroyers and torpedo boats, which will allow us to start looking at light cruisers, heavy cruisers, and in the end, battleships. So, for now we can continue. Uh, we are working on a harsh rationing, which will give us more uh, military experience and some extra political power, right? Yep, 50 political power. Oh, we can add a theorist. Okay, let's get him. Uh, we need all that sweet army experience that we can get for the doctrines. We actually already started uh, working on siege artillery, which will take some time to kick off, but we are slowly getting there. We're going to add an uh, additional factory very soon. It's going to be in Croatia. Uh, in Croatia, we're also building a civilian factory right now, which might or might not be the fifth a uh, factory for the third construction queue that we have running, which would allow us finally to get the intelligence agency. And while I keep speaking about that, I'm getting the hunch that we should just do it anyway and not bother. Though we are increasing our stability at this point, which is slowly also lowering the amount of consumer goods that we need, lower and lower and lower. And, you know, we're doing the harsh rationing as well so that we can get to the unified realm, which will give us extra political power and remove the multinational state, which is a 10% penalty for us. And we can start working on the renewing the Triple Alliance asserting position in the east, uh, getting closer to uh, Romania and so on and so on. And I also like to get the doctrine efforts and yada, yada, yada. I have to work our way through this. Construction effort uh, 1 would be also good because then the construction effort 2, which will give us extra extra infrastructure, is going to be available. Plus we need the airfield expansions done. So yeah, there's just too many things as usual. As usual, there's just too many things. Okay, so how are you doing? This one is going to come in a few days. This one will come right after it. So we finished the Tatra class destroyer. I don't think that we can go further. Nope. But we can go with the naval smoke generator. Uh, no description for the Tatra class. So let's go with this naval smoke generator, which will increase fleet speed while retreating by 5%, which is going to be good for our scout destroyers. Yeah, I'm hoping that we will soon be able to get more uh, special divisions. We're fielding 24 of our 25 allowed special forces. Okay, so it's not going to happen anytime soon. Never mind then. But look at that. Nice growth of everything. And we have finished our first siege of artillery, which is just amazing. 5,767 infantry equipment in stockpile. Good, good, good. You're almost at max efficiency. Yeah, you're gonna get to about two and a half per day. Artillery is good as well. Oh, we must keep the economy going. We must keep the economy going. Hey, second factory is there. So we're getting to 2.48 per month, which is going to get to something like six per month in the end. Good, good, good. Get me that factory so we can finally, finally get on it. Because Jesus Christ, we need that. But those four extra military factories are going to be nice. That will pretty much cover the siege artillery and we can then start looking into the scouts. I mean, 
Oh, hey, here's the Italian decoration of war on the Ottomans. So I'm not sure if that's gonna work well. Italian invasion of Libya. An ultimatum was presented to the Ottoman government. Through Austrian intermediation, the Ottomans replied with the proposal of transferring control of Libya without war, maintaining a formal Ottoman suzerainty. The Italians refused, and war is now declared. So let's hope this time it's going to get better than it did before. And looky, looky. We are mobilizing the people slowly. Very, very slowly. But 91%. Hey, here we go. We got the five. We got the five. So let's go with the intelligence agency. Um, I'm going to go with this symbol. Roque. I actually don't think that is the correct name for it. Let me quickly look on my phone what the Austrian uh, counterintelligence agency was. Or the intelligence agency of Austria Hunger because that is something that I will probably recognize uh, agency of Austria Hungary so the intelligence agency of Austria Hungary was called the KUK evidence bureau it was a military okay so evidence Never heard that before. <laughs> Interesting. Well, okay. It's as close as we can get. And let's put this symbol. I never used that one before. So for 30 days, we are using uh, factories. But nice. Building two more civilian ones. So that is decent. How's the production? 2.63 per month. We got two already. Soon we'll be able to design the Stoßtruppen divisions as we wanted them. Which would be something like this in the first version. So we would have enough for that, but we would need 54 heavy artillery pieces. Which is something that we do not have at all. And I mean at all. Dang, that's brutal. Well, look at that soft attack, it's higher than the defense, but as their breakthrough is extremely small, they will always take heavy casualties, so we need to keep that in mind. Wherever we put them, we would be uh, well advised to make sure that they win. Okay, so how's the war going? Fighting near Tobruk. Not a big surprise there. Okay, so that's the last upgrade to the Navy. Good, good, good. And this is actually not a big thing for us, is it? Okay, so let's, do, let's start working on upgrading the Zenta class cruisers. So Zenta, where are you? Zenta white cruiser. Here you are. It's a protected cruiser on the second class so we'll give you yeah we're gonna remove this uh, anti-air and instead put rapid fire guns uh, white cruiser batter 2 instead same here that's what white cruiser batter 1 14 and a half centimeter cannon yeah, so we're gonna put it to 15 centimeter cannon. Same here. 15 centimeter. Wait, was it the 15 centimeter? I didn't check. Um, yep, it was. Okay, good. Let's just make sure that we do this right. Same here. Torpedoes have no upgrades. Correct. You, however, are gonna go to anti air free. Uh, we're gonna get you the better engine and we're gonna get you secondary batteries here and cruiser armor too so this is this is 1911a Zenta class 28 Navy experience damn 
So we are going to be considered uh, obsolete. And we are going to shadow all these Zenta classes to be upgraded to uh, anyone else is a, nope uh, you are all that can happen here 13,000 100 and holy hell how long would it take to build a new one Refit cost 4486. Production cost is actually lower than the refit. Dang it. Okay, well, then that was actually really a stupid. I should have checked that. What is it? Is it the armor? No. Is it the batteries? Oh, it was the... Oh, it's the engine. Okay, so Zenta... I'm gonna go to the... regular engine here. Yeah, because that makes it Mara makes a difference. And it's basically like building new ships, isn't it? Uh, wait, if I check um if I check the regular Zenta and I just did this, would that tell me something else? Dang it, that's... Yeah, 1800. So this is... This is better, yeah. So if I switch this to Cruiser Engine 1, that should be better. Yep, and now it... Now you guys should have more chill. Yep, 59 days to complete. Okay, so... That's better, because otherwise that's just that is just super dumb. So let's in the meantime finish up uh, the Tradetsky ship. The one that's the fastest one. And work on these guys next. Okay, and we get the Angadir Crisis here. Provoked by the increasing power of France over the state, Moroccan citizens have begun a rebellion against Sultan Abdel Ahmed. As the French are preparing to lift the siege on the palace in Fez, the Germans have sent the SMS Panther to the port of Gadir in support of the rebels, claiming to be protecting German mercantile interest in the region, presuming that in the event of rebel failure, Morocco will pass to direct control by France. If nothing is done in this situation, war could break out in Europe. No kidding. No kidding. Uh, so we're working on the Radetzky, which is going to be done on 19th of April, and you will be done on 21st of September. Okay, well... I guess that makes sense, at least a limited amount of sense. Harsh rationing is going to be done next. And we might want to start building new destroyers here. We have the Tatra class, don't we? Novara class is the white cruiser. This one is too far ahead. So let's make the Tatra class the next uh, next naval ship that we're gonna use, which is the destroyer three. We upgraded you to The correct ship. Production cost 1483, which is pretty good, I think. Light attack, torpedo attack. I'm not sure if we want the. Lower the depth charges to 6. 
We're going to increase the torpedo attack to 55. Which I think might be better. Well, I mean, by the time we are basically done with... That's the problem. We still need to finish the upgrades to the fleet. But we should get... Yeah, we definitely need more destroyers. Hmm. Okay, let's... Let's save this. That's going to be the Tatra class. You are uh, the cheaper one, so we're going to be obsolete. I'm going to shadow these for continuous production. New surgical instruments. The era of surgery being a matter of bone cells and booze is over, thank God. New instruments like the Hitz compass and new techniques for existing instruments like intravenous block transfusion should help to save several of our boys on the battlefield. Okay. War medicine, that's going to help with recover a rate of our units. More we'll research that one next. Still can get the Geberxianga. Encryption is finished. Until modern times, cryptography referred to almost exclusively to encryption, which is the process of converting ordinary information into unintelligible text. Uh, this is just submarines. Recover a rate and else. Superiority. Hmm. Industry we don't have. The oil. Maybe. Uh, let's start preparing our artillery. So you are actually pretty good. Siege artillery upgrade breakthrough bonus is something that I would like to get because it's going to help. So let's work on that. Yeah. Stability is 91%. Okay, we're putting in that. And hey, we can get the Doctrine here. And yeah, we got 20% land Doctrine bonus. We're still getting daily experience. So let's start with the Mass Charge. What does that help? Uh, division speed is increased and organization loss when moving is increased. Unfortunately. Huh. Entrenching Battalions. That's the one that we actually want though. Max Trenchment 18, that is super important for us. Uh, well, once army stretched slowly up the battlefield, forming lines before giving fire, with the Maxim now in use by nearly every army in the world, however, this would be a good way to get our troops slaughtered. Not that that, that didn't happen anyway. Our generals believe we need fast-moving charges of overwhelming numbers to break enemy defenses. Yeah, that's a stupid idea as they can get, but... Sure, let's just do that. South Pole reached on December 14th, 1911. Raut Amundsen and four other others arrived at the Pole, five weeks ahead of British party led by Robert Falcon Scott as part of the Terra Nova expedition. Amundsen and his team returned safely to their base and later learned that Scott and his four companions had died on their journey back. Well, perhaps to establish colonies. Harsh rationing gives us 20 extra army experience and 50 political power. So we can now go with the Reorganization Act, getting extra military factory, 50 political power, and then unify the realm. That is actually really amazing. Doing pretty good here. As far as everything is concerned. Actually, have we? No, we haven't. So you're a superior tactician, lone wolf, a concealment expert. Uh, you have nothing. Skill free. Well, I mean, the lone wolf is pretty good, but. Retreat decision channel. I mean, why not? Why not? It's um, gonna be good anyway. Okay, war support is 60. And we finished the evidence bureau. Nice. So we're getting our first operative. And how expensive are these upgrades? Not very much. That is good. So let's start working on these, shall we? Cryptology department, decryption power, radio interception group. 
Mm, let's go with passive defense. That's one thing that we actually really need. Those two extra factories are gonna go a long way for us. Manning fascism. That's really not much we can do here or want here. Uh, we got all the theorists. So I think at this point we can think about adding armor research speed. Would that count? Naval research speed. Actually, that's actually pretty good. Armor. Uh, it's not great. Yeah, that is not great. Weapons and equipment research speed. Though this one would be good, I think. Industrial or electronics. Let's go with the industrial concern and the infantry concern because I think that's a good idea. We're gonna have the most. Yeah, most uh, things that we're gonna research are gonna be in the infantry department. So that's probably the best choice for us. So you're gonna be ready soon. And how are we on this? Come on. Still can't? We're almost there. Almost. Just a tad more. Production still too. Yep, but we got seven already. It's nice. And this guy has five. Well, pretty good. We're gonna get one extra battleship. Okay, so you get me that infantry research. Because that will soon be quite something. Damn, there's gonna be a lot of things to research. Camera, soft attack, infantry breakthrough. Mm, yeah, that's gonna help. Okay, so we're the 51st Infantry Division, so we're gonna join the 1st Army as well. And I'll consider that one finished for now. Now we're gonna focus on the Landsturm and try to support them to get to 16, and then we're gonna up both of these armies higher. So Naval Smoke Generator. Warships have sometimes used a simple variation of the smoke generator by injecting fuel oil directly into the smokestack. An even simpler method that was used in the days of steam propelled warship was to restrict the supply of air to the boiler. This resulted in incomplete combustion of the coal or oil, which produced a thick black smoke. Because the smoke was black, it absorbed heat from the sun and tended to rise above the water. So fleet speed while retreating plus 5%. Good then. I'm not sure if we ever want to get more submarines. That doesn't sound like something we'd be interested in right now. So instead let's get artillery. Breakthrough and soft attack. That's going to serve us well. Plus it's a preparation for an upgrade to the existing technology. Okay, you're going to be the 50... Second division, and we can go with additional passive defense. Hey, and we can get an operative. So Maria Neudinger, escape artist, and enemy operative intel extraction right. Well, I guess she's the best one, so let's keep her home. Do we have any information about you? Jesus Christ. They are a beast. No, quite frankly, it doesn't seem like they got... Yeah, they got a lot of divisions, but they're fairly weak compared to the Germans. Okay, well, uh, she's gonna defend our homeland. And once we're finished with the Novara class, I'm gonna call the episode done. Okay, we finished both of the civilian factories and now we are working on two actually two military factories in Upper Austria and two in Sudetenland which is pretty darn good and is pretty darn good nothing here that would be useful yeah I know updated equipment in production you're gonna be done soon though the Radetzky class then I will probably let them upgrade all these free white cruisers and then the question is, do we want to 
So we still got a ton of protected cruisers here to upgrade. Which is something that we should do, but can we do? That's the question. So Nevada class light cruiser has been researched, giving us yet another ship that we can design and use. And what now? Still ahead of time, quite dramatically. Same here. Civilian train, that's... Okay, everything here is ahead of time. Kinda doing good on research, aren't we? Reinforce rate, this is all ahead of time. Air superiority and tanks and armor variety breakthrough. Well, oh yeah, let's get the engineering drawing. I mean, extra air superiority is gonna come in handy. Anyway, that's all for this episode. I would like to thank you very much for joining me. Now, see you in the next one. We are slowly going into the year 1912, which means that we are about half, well, not halfway through, but pretty dramatically coming closer to the First World War. And I think so far we are doing pretty darn good. Our army is eh, closing up on half a million. Decent. Decent. <laughs>